And welcome back lads, another episode of the M50 B30 Stroker build. Um, today's episode, hopefully get the head on, get the cams in and get the vanis and that back on. Um, hopefully I'll film most of that, I didn't get much filming of the work done in the last episode. Um, it was just mainly me talking and um, other stuff got in the way so filming was at the back of my mind. Um, today now we're basically ready to put the head on. I've got the block ready as you can see uh, from last video. And then we've got a new head, well, not a new head, but a freshly skimmed head. Um, I've relapped all the valves in, uh, give them a clean. Um, also new valve stem seals and I'm going to use new rocker, sorry, new head bolts. Um, we're not using ARP studs because once again they're about over 200 quid. And as I said before, this is a budget build. I'm trying to do it as cheap as possible. Um, so I'm just using standard uh, head bolts. Um, so hopefully we'll go and get that done. Um, last vid last time I done this, it was with an M52 block and I stripped the threads um, when trying to torque the head down. So that's why I've decided to go for an M50 block now. It's um, obviously a lot stronger. So let's see how it goes. So head gaskets in place. Um, just a quick tip. Just under here, under this area where the timing case meets on both sides, just under the head gasket. So this like just under there. Just put a bit of sealant on. Uh, just to stop any oil making its way out with a time in case. Right, heads on in place and head studs are just hand tight. I'm gonna torque them all up now to 30 newton meters. Uh, that's also a difference between the M52 and M50. Um, the steel block is less, uh, it's only 30 newton meters instead of 40, and then it's 90 degrees twice. So I'm going to do the 30 newton meters, and then I'll come back then. Uh, so head is all on, uh, torque down, uh, no snapped bolts or pulled threads, obviously the M50 block is much stronger, um, that's what I was using to get the angle, um, works does the job. Uh, so then at now next I'm um, going to get the vanish back on, get the cams in and um, start getting the rest of it all built up. Um, right, so next on the list is to get the cams installed. Um, I've got the exhaust cam all ready, everything clean. So I'm going to put that back in first and then I'll uh, get on and put the intake cam in. So I'll um, try to film the screen up. Right, so here's the cam, uh, exhaust cam, and the exhaust caps um, and the lifters all clean and um, ready to go back in. So I'm going to get them back into the engine now. I'll uh, try to film it as much as possible. It's a bit awkward. Alright, so I've turned the engine on its side. <coughs> and basically because it's easier to get the cam carrier tray in with the lifters attached.
Um, as you can see, the lift doesn't stay in place and allow the tray to go down. And engine back up. Okay, so both uh, the exhaust cam and intake cam is in. Um, obviously, the intake cam is from the M fifty four B thirty. It's just the standard exhaust cam. Um, as you can see, that's where you have to cut off. It's a uh, five mil off the nose of the cam, um, so the vanis then will kick in. Um, I'm going to torque these up now. It's uh, fourteen newton meters of torque for the cap bolts. Uh, do that and come back. Um, so that's the cams all in place and torqued down. Um, fourteen newton meters on the cam caps. Uh, there is different torque for different size um, bolts, um, but these ones are M7, so 40 newton meters. Um, that's basically all bolted in. Um, I stuck the um, chain and that on and a couple of bits off the timing and a couple of the sprockets. I'm just sitting them there. Um, next week, I'll try to get the photo of my camera on a tripod um, and so I can film the timing. I'll try to do as much of that as possible. Uh, but for now, that's basically it mainly done. I'll show you what it looks like. So there we have the M54 B30 cam in place, the inlet cam. Um, on the other side, the exhaust side, uh, we just have a standard M52 exhaust cam. You can use the M50 non-vanis cam, um, non-vanis inlet cam as an exhaust cam, um, but I didn't have one of them, so I didn't use it. I may upgrade in the future. As you can see, timing chains in that are in place. Um, Next week, I'll, as I said, I'll try to set my phone up um, on a tripod and get that filmed and go through the timing with you and show you how to do that. Um, that's basically it this, for this week's episode. Um, if you want more videos and obviously you like these ones, uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, give the video a like. Um, any questions, um, just drop a message in the comments. I'll be happy to answer.